right. Did you reach Cosmo? Mm -hmm. It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it will be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. All them bars, and betting parlors, and noodle joints. Maybe it's not as bad as it looks? I assume it will be worse. Raker rallies regiments, while we wait whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, Gold. What the flark? Great! Cocoon Boy thinks he's a butterfly now! He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the Flarkers pay for what they did to Nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki! Peter? Okay... Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Well 
Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Better pray their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill them for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Portex and find Nikki. Scott! The Cosmos Tower's shut down. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. This mission is about saving Nikki. It'll be a real shame if Cosmo bought into the promise, but like we said in Lamentis, if we cure her, we cure everybody. What kind of promise could they offer a dog anyway? A nice game of fetch. Kind of dreading what we're going to see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Oh, I really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! So many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. Yeah, I don't know, Rocket. Like Gamora said, everybody wants something. The church tailors their offer to the individual. Seems to me most of them would give in. They got Clark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon fate from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. They're powering something. Sure looks like it.
the fanatics. I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. If I can find a way over there. Think you can anchor to this, Gamora? Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. Don't leave me hanging. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving.
There has been no sign of Goldie Braun since he leapt from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. The Warlock carries an old grudge. He would not align himself with the Grand Unifier. Ago. You did? Was it Blurf? And yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. Ha! You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus's space magic ritual? We don't know space magic! Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. Man, I'm not so sure anymore, not after Lamentis. None of this makes any sense, but Mantis gave us somebody who can fight it. Somebody who also makes little sense. Exactly! I think. He can deal with his evil twin. They must have started the fulfillment already. Why? Sweet I just figured there'd be more converted around up here. down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentis. Nah, the Cortex could handle that on its own. Maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Ah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back, and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. You say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic, if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. 
We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big, happy Flarkin family? She's not garbage. Behold the power of the light! Vaya Magnati! Definitely not good. 
Kimura, wait. Hold on a sec. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flogged up church? Of course not. Just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me, my sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa, what? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me so I can find him and shake his attack in hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The Nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted she loves us. I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I could take. We accept you, Gamora Zenwubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. What say we go stop a nut job cult leader? Yes. Can't figure out how to hurt this one! 
Pulverize them! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. You see that kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? We should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. I'm more than ready. You know, I usually hated when that Cosmo spotlight would shine down on me, but now I kind of miss it. I did not know you were so sentimental. Almost drowning changes a guy. So, Gamora? How am I supposed to drop the most interesting thing she's ever done? Why do they keep blocking everything off? Because now they expect us. We need to find another way to the bridge. Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made-up word. 